What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're reacting to the third episode of Wonder Egg Priority. This one's titled A Bear Knife. Um, hmm, I wonder. Uh, this show has been very, very interesting. First of all, it's beautiful, as you expect of Cloverworks. Uh, secondly, it's dealing with some very dark topics in a way that it's not going out of its way to push it in your face like, here's all the dark topics we're talking about. It's very subtle with them. And even in all that, I feel like there is an even darker aspect to the story that is, as of yet, unrevealed. I I made the comparison to uh, Koibe, Kube, whatever you, however you pronounce that name, um, from the Madoka series, in that, yes, we're giving you this opportunity, and it seems everything's right, but really I have an ulterior motive for it. That's how I view uh, Aka and Ura Aka in this regard, because... These eggs that they're handing out, like, it, it's... Okay, we, the reason I is continuing to do these is because she feels as though it's helping her get Kueto back. Which, let's be honest, if that happens, I think we'll all be amazed that Kueto actually does end up coming back, like, for real. Like, other than just coming back as an egg that we solve and then moves on with. Like, if Koito ends up being back alive in the world, I think we'll all be surprised, because I don't think any of us are genuinely expecting that to work, because why was it? Like, yeah, it, it seems too easy and happy of an ending for I to work towards. Now, Nehru is after her sister, and trying to save her sister in uh, by doing these eggs, and is doing a lot of them at once. Um, I is taking them one at a time, uh, and he's trying to make friends with Nehru to an extent, and they're kind of getting along a little bit. Um, it's going to take a while, uh, but you can start to see their friendship forming. I do wonder what would happen if they both try and solve the same egg. Uh, I assume at some point we might get to that idea, because it's like, why not team up for an egg? Maybe that'll make it easier. Uh, it's not a bad idea, I suppose, but I guess we'll see if that does end up coming up. We do also have four other characters that uh, we need to be introduced... Uh, sorry, two other characters to be introduced to to establish our main four from the cover art. Um, I don't know who, how long it will take for them to um, get involved, but we've got these other two to meet as well. Um, but last time we solved... What was her name? Uh, Minami? Yes, Minami. Uh, we solved her issue. She was being... She's a... a I, forget, I forget the name of it, but uh, she has the ribbon... So ribbon twirling, I I don't know if there's an actual name for that in Japan, uh, but um, training a lot for that uh, has a very, very, very uh, obsessed coach who was pushing her and pushing her and pushing her. I think it's implied in that, because they mentioned like, oh, staying thin, staying thin for this. I think it's kind of implied that there might be a bit of an eating disorder in there. And I'm fairly certain each of these eggs are people who have died perhaps all suicide i'm not sure if all of them were suicide but i think it's implied that everyone in these eggs is already dead and almost like ghosts lingering with regrets that we then solve to an extent uh and then allows them to move on in peace i think that's kind of what's implied um whether it's as simple as that i don't know i aka noraka must have a motive for having this system in place. They must be getting something out of it. I don't know what it is, though. And I feel like that's like going to be like an end show reveal and might be the darker side of the story that I've been hinting at. So, yeah. I think it's also going to be a journey of I discovering what happened to Koito and the, what she was put through and remembering everything that happens because I've kind of been putting that into the back of her mind for a lot of it. Um, but also, it is a character journey for her in opening up, coming a bit more bubbly, and growing as a person, and moving on from tragedy, which I think is the overall message, is learn from the past, accept the past, but look forward to the future. I think is kind of the base message we're going for here. Um, but see no evils have been consistent in both the eggs that we've dealt with, so I guess... If we're going to do a third egg this time, which I assume we will, I guess I will be fending off against them again. But then we have the Wonder Killer. The Wonder Killer. I feel like there's a hidden meaning within those, like, Wonder Eggs, Wonder Killers. It's like, why the obsession with Wonder? 
you know so i feel like there's more to there's more to unpack there but i'll let the show do the talking for that because uh some more information would be nice because we've only have 40 well yeah we've only have 40 minutes of screen time so far uh we need to get that uh hour mark and then we can maybe get a little bit more information on what the hell we're talking about because this is not a show that just shoves everything in your face and says here's how it is it's like here's all the clues have fun figuring it out. It's one of those types of shows. I love them. So, anyway, as per usual, uh, here on YouTube we do tire based form reactions. If you want to see full picture in picture, you can go to my Patreon down in the description below. Four pounds a month gets you access to all picture in picture reactions I do on the channel, uh, which is everything from this season, the Patreon requested shows, and a couple of backdated ones that will be added to uh, in the break before spring. Um, but here on YouTube we have to do tire based. So, bottom left of the screen, you'll see the time for the episode. I count you down three to one play. And on play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we'll be in sync. We are watching this one on Funimation, since that's who's licensed it here this season. We have Aniplex, I believe. Yes, Aniplex and Funimation logos, so about 12 seconds logos, give or take. Uh, I'll call them out as they go past. You can also use screen flash on my face on the mic to tell when he's transitioning. So, with all that said, let's just get into episode 3, shall we? In 3, 2, 1, play. Aniplex. And Funimation. Cheers. Here we go. Lighthouse. No oh boy. I think we're dealing with another rag. <laughs> Is this I? I don't think so. Hmm. Ah, it's Blondie. And disappears. Oh, here's another stone statue that I assume she's working towards. Hmm. Mm. Okay. So we are being introduced to another character, it seems. Such a unique OP as well, I love it. I get a little bit of chills every time that kicks in. That's Nyeru. That's Blondie. And there's our other one. All right, here we go. Getting our eggs. Oh, we are having multiple at a time now. Okay. We've got some confidence. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oof. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, they don't care about you in this real world. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> sure. Okay.
It's not by choice. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Very different characters, Nehru. Hmm. Odd. Uh. Terrible. Got down over the puns. Sure. <laughs> yep, this is the way I go. We mentioned. <laughs> wow. What you don't say. Oh, I kiss, okay. <laughs> Jesus. They're getting on well, aren't they? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Hmm. <laughs> Parents at home. Just follow the rain. <laughs> oh boy. Is this the teacher? Yeah. <laughs> Not that. School counselor, okay. Um, no. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Huh. Ooh, completely different reasonings. Oof. I mean... You don't say. Mm, completely different motivations for it. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Completely different people clashing now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very pushy. You really think that's the case? <laughs> oh, why? You're so innocent. Oh, hello. There's the self harm. Hmm. Hmm. Well, huh? Hmm. Complete misunderstanding there, I think, but still. Hmm. God damn it. I don't think it was because of him, no. Oh, hello. Hmm. Oh, hello. Hmm.
Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Wow, that's messed up. I don't think... Well, well not in your dream, though. No. Oh. Oh, so they're even present in synchronized ones, okay. So they're just a common enemy of everything. Oof. Nice. Oh. Oof. Into the forest, I guess. What the hell? Ah, oh, the lighthouse. Hmm. Sure. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Jesus. Can't get them all, though. Of course, they ignore her.
Oh, wow. Such a good looking show. Mm-hmm. They've made an understanding. Oh, here's the Wonder Killer. <laughs> oh. That's a guy I'm mad at. Him. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Nice. Uh, where did she go? Oh. Oh, boy. Oh. I'm gonna clip hanger. Oh, okay. Hmm. I assume we might be able to get her out of that. I I assume we can. I mean you don't have to, but He's too happy for this show. Alright. Colorful girls. Alright. Okay. This show is so unique. In the way it tells its stories as well. Hmm. Yeah, I this is this is one of those shows that I think you do need pre watches of to get a lot of the smaller bits that they they are putting in there. Um See here's the thing with Rika, right? Like she's came across as the, when we first came across her, it felt like she was being very petty. She just wanted her wallet back, right? But it's just the way she's 
it's the way she handles her situation. Like, it's just... At first you think it was just, like, for a petty reason she wanted someone back. It felt... It felt really bad. But as the episode went on, we figure out what actually happened. Uh, what was her name? Uh, began with a C. Jackie? Something like that? Um, Jemmy. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so... Jemmy was just spending all her money on... Uh, Rika, the idol. And was going to such extents just to hit that point. And Rika didn't want her to do that, and so tried to drive her away, but that ultimately crushed Jemmy and forced her to the situation she ended up in. So, I think Rika feels guilty about what happened. That's what ultimately is, and she's very guilty of it, and that's probably why she turned to self-harm and cut herself, as shown. Because of what she did to Chiemi, which she didn't intend. Hmm. And that's why she wants Chiemi back, so she can start over and tell her properly. Okay. It's so, like, Rika became... At first, I really hated Rika. I was like, for such a petty reason to be like this, it was like, hmm... But it's just her attitude and the way she deals with the grief that she's been given. Because not everyone handles grief the same way. That's that's very much apparent in a lot of people. Uh, some people close off. Some people get extremely angry. Some people try to play it off and bury it. It's like, there's different ways of dealing with the grief. And I assume that our uh, final character from the main poster uh, will also be a somewhat different interpretation of dealing with grief. But at the same time, I cannot trust Akka nor Akka and what their intentions are here. Why are they frozen like the way they are in these worlds? Why do they seem to be redeemable or savable? Why, why, why would this system be involved? Hmm... There's so much I want to question about this world, and I need to, I need to give it multiple watches. I need to get into discussions and start thinking about this. And the teacher, the school counselor, whatever. That scene with Koito. I don't know if that's I misinterpreting it. I don't know if um, I don't know if that's just I misinterpreting. I don't think he's as I don't think he's the part of the reason why Koito ended up the way she did. Maybe that's just I jumping to conclusions because of the state that she was in. It's really, really hard to tell. Hmm. There was a there's a good point here that um oh how do I say your name? I don't know if that is an L. Like it's hard to tell with different fonts and stuff. Uh, I think that is an L. Yeah, it's an L. Um, I think yeah, it's an L. Uh, so Laszlo on Annie List makes a good point here. Um, so episode three spending a lot of time on sexuality and a young person's agency surrounding it. Like, the very first one was, I love young women, let me gobble them up. Like, that was a very uh, disturbing uh, trauma to have. Uh, then we had the whole a beautiful woman doesn't need a wallet sort of um, attitude. Then we had the girls who flirt with well, men scary and, like, junior idol and bench stuff. There was a lot of sexuality focus in that episode. And whilst the actual trauma that we're dealing with right now isn't necessarily of a sexual nature, there was a very prominent sexuality theme through all of that. And... I wonder... I wonder if that's meant to be intentional. That we bring all that up, and then we have the scene with um, the counsellor and Koito. I don't think they're going that route with the counsellor and Koito. I... I don't think they're going that route with it. 
but it's entirely possible. It's it's a good point. Because there was a lot more mention of it. So this is one of those shows where you really do need to dig in deep and discuss it, I think, to get the most out of it. And I think, especially when we have future scenes, we can look back on scenes and be like, oh, so this, yeah, because of this, this now makes a bit more sense. And I think it's going to play into it a lot. And because it's an original work, it's going to flow well and fit into the time conf- uh, constraints that they want to. But this is a show that I think we need to have a lot of discussions about to really get the most out of it. So uh, as per usual, comment section, have at it, because there is no way you can spoil anything because no one knows how this is going to end except the writers and the staff who worked on it. So unless you happen to be one of them, which I kind of doubt any of you are watching my videos, but they're the only people who actually know what's going to happen and know the true answer of it all. But it's such an interesting, interesting show and journey. But I'm still waiting for that gut punch at the end that's just going to twist the knife and be like, oh, you fought all this? Well, we didn't have purely good intentions because I cannot believe Aka and Uraka are purely good entities. I just can't believe it. I'm just too mistrustful of them. But anyway, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one as per usual. Leave a like if you did, as well as your comments. Comments more than anything are important on this one because... Uh, different interpretations on different facets of the scenes like I didn't even really piece together the sexuality bit until I saw that comment from Laszlo so um, it's, a, it's a good point and I wonder if they are intentionally playing into that uh, throughout that episode or not um, it seems like they might have been but I guess we'll see um, but yeah, don't forget to hit subscribe as well to see next week's episode as well as the rest of the winter 2021 lineup you can find on the channel thank you for watching until next time see you guys later